and here we are offering for the mechanical engineering third semester the course structure here I am going to be displaying. It consists of basic science engineering, humanities science, engineering science and professional core and mandatory courses we do have. So the specifically when it comes to the, the mechanical engineering we are floating the three subjects one is the engineering mechanics, second one engineering thermodynamics and third one introduction to physical metallurgy and engineering materials these courses we are floating when it comes to a present presentation so engineering mechanics so I'm going to be dealing so in our third semester engineering mechanics is going to be deals by the Dr. B. Samredi and associate professor mechanical engineering in the present topics we will see what is the syllabus right and what are the basics of mechanics that we are going to be discussing here. So here we can see the, the syllabus, the basic, the engineering mechanics, the basic syllabus is going to be consist of. The first module one is consist of the concurrent forces on a plane, composition and resolution of the forces and equilibrium of concurrent, coplanar forces, method of projections, methods of moment, friction, parallel forces in plane and two parallel forces general case of the parallel forces in this case we can see in the first modules we are going to be dealing with the the concurrent forces that means the forces the consists of the the concurrent forces and the parallel forces and how it is going to be affecting when their forces are going to be acting on that particular member then what kind of behavior it is going to be exhibiting at the time so thus the analysis we are going to be do in this one the second modules we are going to be talking about the centroids when the distributed loads are going to be existed on the system then where is the centroid and how it is going to be acting on that exactly on that particular system and we are talking about the moments of inertia for the one dimensional object two dimensional objects and three dimensional objects we are going to be studying in the module 2 and in the module 3 we are going to be talking about the force analysis in the plane process these generally the structures we can see the railway bridges is consist of these kind of structures right so there we can see method of joints method of sections and principles of virtual work and equilibrium of ideal systems that's we are going to be discussing when it comes to the module 4 we are talking about the kinematics and the dynamics of systems as for my knowledge point of view the first the rectilinear translation that goes to the kinematics the principles of dynamics the concept, concepts of inner inertial and non-inertial frame of references D Alambert principle these are going to be we are going to be discussing and the module 5 is completely deals with the the dynamics of the system is called the kinetics that means a body has a motion what is the cause for that motion that's also we are going to be study in terms of the momentum and impulse work energy impact curvilinear translation the kinematics equation of motion but projectile D Alambert principle and these are going to be we are going to be kinematics of rotation of rigid bodies and these are the suggested books we are going engineering mechanics by Temeshenko and KL Kumar and AK Thoyal these are, are going to be the standard books we are going to be talking and here some of the MOOC courses also you can see what is the main object of this course in the course in this case this is going to be the basic engineering subject where it can develop the knowledge of the students to draw the free body diagram and the force analysis we are going to be learn and what are the different forces are acting on the system and what are the behavior the system has that's we are going to be discussing the overall object of this course is to learn how to draw the free body diagram analyze the system of forces of structures this includes understanding of concurrent forces on a plane these are all we are discussing in the coming sessions to learn the second object to learn how to draw the free body diagram and analyze the parallel forces the center of gravity forces the moment of inertia and the plane process the most of the time the objective one and two we are going to be dealing with the the free body diagrams and how it is going to be and third one is going to be third fourth fifth and sixth objective are going to be related to the the kinematics and dynamics of the systems this we are going to be discussing and the next course outcome after the successful completion of this course what a student can learn so he can gain the basic knowledge 
and he learned apply that basic knowledge of the mathematics the physics and engineering mechanics to solve the engineering problems right what are the engineering problems that's we are going to be see in the coming sessions identify the forces right whether it's the parallel forces or maybe the concurrent forces a point force are uniformly distributed or non uniformly distributed loads those we are going to be discussing in the this one the main aim is, is to draw the free body diagram once you draw the free body diagram everything will comes to the picture determine the center of gravity for the distributed forces the moment of inertia for the plane and the mass bodies next analyze the structural determinant the statistical determinant structural problems in this case so that means the number of unknowns are equal to the number of equations so that easily we can solve the problem that is called the determinant structures when any one is going to be varying then we can say that's going to be indeterminate structures formulate and determine the rectilinear motion of a rigid body by using the kinematics a principle right the rectilinear motion means the translatory motion so that's we are going to be analyzing what is the displacement what is the velocity and acceleration while you imparting the force but we never consider how much amount of the force is going to be imparted but only we are concentrating on the end results of that body application of the newton's law the alembert principle of solving the problems in this case right the difference between the newton's law and all the alembert's principle we are going to be see more or less these are going to be the same but we are using the dynamic forces are acting on that system we are going to be considering in that part apply the fundamental concepts of kinematics and the kinetics of a particles and rigid bodies to the analysis of simple and particle problems apply the conserv conservation laws to different types of collisions and motions of the rigid bodies that's we are going to be see these outcomes are mainly we have drawn from the module 1 to 5 and here why do we study mechanics if we look around to the several creations of civilizations just like we would hardly find any item that is beyond the pure of mechanics examples we are going to be talking here the tables chairs of our drawing rooms to simple stapler what we use daily and all is consist of the engineering mechanics the mechanics principles they use and they design that part that means if you are going to be see the chair and the tables some are going to be mobile some are going to be adjustable some are going to be rigid but when it comes to the stapler there is a mechanism we are using the main purpose of the mechanics to understand what is the mechanism and what elements are required to support to that part that's where it's in other examples water taps in regularly we are using in our household the water taps two mechanical parts of electrical appliances like switches ball bearings or fans these are going to be discussing about the engineering mechanics parts and other parts automobiles and aircrafts buildings and a tv or a mobile tower a lock gate and a dam a robot and a human being a column and a jock and so on so forth it is therefore quite interesting and imperative to study the subject which has the immense application potential and form the backbone of engineering study irrespective of the specializations that means one should have this the knowledge of the engineering mechanics then the the thought process and the concept the conceptual process are going to be completely changed and the before going to the actual subjects we must have some clarity about the terminologies what we are using some of the definitions must be we know that's we are going to be definition of mechanics the mechanics here what is the mechanics engineering mechanics definition the mechanics is the branch of the science which deals with the behavior of bodies at rest or in motion under the action of external force right the mechanics is the branch of the science then what is the meaning of the branch of the science then what behavior we are going to be study at rest or in motion and what is the exactly the external force those points we need to understand from this definition so to understand to make you understand this and i had given the definition of the science this is from the childhood we have seen the definition of the science the science is the knowledge that comes from observing the fact about the surroundings or the universe carefully and carry out the experiments and making statements that are always true in particular conditions in this case the science is the knowledge that's why how we are getting the knowledge here by observing the surroundings that's may be existed around you 
and we are doing the experiment but after the observing that component or a particular specific thing we will do the some experiments to understand the behavior or nature of that particular system and we will draw the sum of the conclusions to support the true nature of that conditions and then what is the engineering the engineering is the application of mathematics and science the application of the science and mathematics to the design and the manufacturing of products that benefit human the benefit humanity a design is the basic concept that distinguish engineers from the scientist engineering design is the process of devising a system component or the process to meet the desired needs so these are the basic differences between the scientist and the engineer right and the science and engineering that's we are going to be see and the next one we can see here why do we study the mechanics already we have discussed about it the specifically for the mechanical engineering why we need to study this part that the design of the mechanisms are the simply machinery used in daily day to day life requires like knowledge of the mechanics in fact it is the most fundamental subject in engineering mechanics plays a basic part in physics astronomy contributing to our knowledge of the working of nature with the knowledge of mechanics any person can solve the problem by applying the fair idea of the logical structure the important application of engineering mechanics here the working principle of ic engines right external forces acting on ship or board water study of missiles aeroplanes the forces developed in truss frames and this is the wind and other external loads these are the very important aspects for the mechanical point of view i have discussed that's we already we have seen that part right we have seen this engineering mechanics has applied for the different fields right the missile is moving in the fluid the ship is moving in the fluid right and the aeroplanes the structural designs we do have have you seen that means engineering mechanics is going to be applying for each and every field of the mechanical right then we need to understand but the same principles may not be useful then what happen according to that situation while carrying out the experiments and while you are drawing the conclusions for the specific facts for that conditions we have divided the engineering mechanics into different categories the first one is the solid mechanics second one is the fluid mechanics in the fluid mechanics we do have the statics and the dynamics as we know the statics means that fluid is at rest conditions there is no external force acting on that system it's very clear that the system of the body the water bodies or the fluid bodies are at the static equilibrium conditions and the next one fluid dynamics as we know that when the particle is in the motion it will have certain kind of the dynamic forces are going to be existed and what are the cause for that motion also we are going to be study in this fluid mechanics the same to the left side there is a solid mechanics is there that one is the rigid body and the deformable body right in the deformable bodies there we can see there is the deformable bodies or the more flexible bodies also we can see the belt drives chain drives ropes will comes to the deformable bodies and even some of the elastic solid bodies also comes to the deformable bodies it means that certain length certain extension of their life of the solid components they will go for the elastic deformations once you remove the load it will come back to its original position those are the deformable bodies but when the solid body mechanics you can say that's the one is the rigid bodies and actually the rigid bodies there is no change in the particles distance when you apply the load on a specific component that's even it is there we are neglecting that kind of the deformations it means that the self sustainable structure we do have that in that component that's classified into statics and the dynamics when the statics is deals already we told body is at rest condition that means the civil structures are there the uh, static conditions and the dynamics the body is in motion like kinematics and the dynamic of the systems already we are discussed and uh, before going to the topic and we must be familiar with the sum of the terminologies are the sum of the nomenclature of these subjects some of the phrases are going to be very important to understand exactly what we are going to be talking because while you are doing the engineering mechanics specifically some of the words we are using to meet that exact requirements so here is the particle a particle is defined as an object that has a mass but has no size it means the particle consists of mass but no uh, dimensions of that component that we can say the body body is defined as the matter uh, limited in all the directions 
it has a finite volume and finite mass when we are going to be say the matter is limited when we are talking about the rigid body a body in which the particles do not change their relative motion under the action of any external force is called as rigid body no body is perfectly rigid right that's already we have discussed in this class next one continuation the deformable body what is the deformable body the rigid bodies that we have seen when we are going to be taking any body the particles between that particles in the body is not going to be changed that means the distance between the parts is going to be the same but the deformable body is not like that the particles the distance will change according to the external forces or internal forces next one what is the mass the mass of your body is consist of matter the weight is the force with which the earth attracts any body to itself towards itself is called the weight of the body these all definitions we have seen our intermediate level itself as we know the space means unlimited universe in which all the materials are locked located in known as the space in three dimensional regions there we can say static sticks statics is the branch of engineering mechanics which deals with the study of a bodies at rest and under the action of the forces the dynamics it is the branch of engineering mechanics which deals with the study of the bodies in motion including the force so the dynamics is classified into kinetics and the kinematics sometimes we are considering the forces what is cause for that motion sometimes we are not considering what is the cause for that motion but the effect we are going to be study in terms of the displacement the field quantities like displacement velocity and acceleration the kinematics what we are going to be say here the forces also we are going to be the force it is an agent which changes or tends to change the state of rest or motion of your body it's very clear that the force has the capability or the ability to change the position of your body from one position to the other position and and the mechanics also developed on few laws it is not the separated from the physics it's a part of the physics that's we are going to be physical components we are going to be that's going to be the first law of motion the second law third law the law of universal gravitation parallelogram law of forces and the law of transmissibility the forces that's we are going to be dealing in the coming classes the thank you and in this class we have seen the definition of the engineering mechanics what's the difference between the science and engineering but they are not different they are, have the some similarities the engineering has developed